Yeah! NFL, baby. We're back. Week one's this week, dog. So we got all our predictions. Who's winning each division? Dallas Cowboys obviously winning the NFC East, but we're getting to everything NFL right here on Son of a Gun. Grandma, yeah, she raised the dawn. Uh, uh, yeah, and shout out to my mom. I'm a son of a gun. Yes, sir. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Son of a Gun, man. You know who we are. You know what we do. I'm joined by my guy, Big Mike. Yo, yo, yo. Good to be back. Just in time for football season. Just in time, man. We got a lot to get to, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Let's get Where it. are we starting? AFC East, Bills, Dolphins, Patriots, and the Jets. Ah, hey, you know what? Is Are the Jets defense for real? Sauce Gardner is probably one of the best cornerbacks in the league. I got to give it to him. Uh, and they got uh, the, the lineman from... Uh, Alabama, Williams, I mean, he's a dog. He gets after it. Nice guy. Still wears braces, so you know he's nuts. Um, I believe in him. Well, okay. Will A-Rod stay on the field all season? Aaron Rodgers is 48 years old, huh? (laughs) His ligaments, his bones are ripped apart from years and years of stress. But he did go on a bad trip where he saw the devil, so – I'm thinking maybe he got his superpowers back. I hope he stays on the field. I need to see him out there with the Jets uniform on. I need to see what he can do out there with uh, Garrett Wilson. Sure. Okay. We'll we'll see. I you know that's what it's going to take. In the meantime, who's Josh going to throw to? Josh Allen. They keep putting this guy on a pedestal like he's some god. He is a regular quarterback with a good arm. Decision making. He's lost. He is lost. He has. He just. He slings the football around. He has no self control. He he just refuses to throw the football away. So I'm tired of people saying Josh Allen is one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Ah, uh, he gets lucky and he's got a bazooka. Who is he throwing to? Uh, Keon Coleman, right out of Florida State. After they just got busted on by uh, Georgia Tech, which was insane. We did see that game. Yikes, buddy. But Keon Coleman, I'm looking for him to, you know, make his impact pretty early because that's the only person Josh Allen has to throw the ball to. Yeah, well, Curtis Samuel's there, right? So, okay. But speaking of throwing the ball around, uh, are there enough footballs down south in South Beach to go around? So, Miami, right? Miami. With Hawk Tua Togavaloa. Huh? The lefty specialist. I mean, <laughs> hey. Is, I'm not trying to be funny, but he does have a, a history of getting injured. Last year, he was on the field throwing up gang signs. So, that's really number one. <laughs> number two, he just got paid. And what yeah. do people who just got paid do? Yeah. They're not going in early to workouts. They're not watching <laughs> film. I don't care. They, he thinks he's got Tyreek Hill, uh, Jalen Waddle, the two fastest dudes in the league, right. and he's got a good backfield. I think two is going to be the problem that they don't succeed this year because yeah. Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, and they got Gabe Davis, who's a home run hitter kind of receiver. Right. He's out there in Miami. Will he ever touch the ball? Probably not. Right, right. Well, speaking of organizations that just have thrown in the towel – uh, what does it have to say when you got Jacoby Brissett as your starter over your rookie that you drafted in the first round? That Drake May's not who they thought he was. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, hey, he's a rookie, right? Yeah. It yeah. used to be a time where there was no chance a rookie, was, a rookie quarterback was seeing sure. the field. And now all of a sudden, a few quarterbacks have made that transition. They start mm-hmm. year one and they have decent seasons. C.J. Stroud, i.e. So – I'm not surprised. I don't think it says anything blatantly bad about uh, Drake May. He's a rookie, and he didn't play that much in college, too. So, you know, let him sit on the bench. Let him be a clipboard hero for a season or for a few games until Jacoby Brissett reverts to his old ways, and there's a reason he's been a career backup. He's not a starting quarterback in the NFL. (laughs) Well, that's why he went to New England, and, well, they're off to the season opener. So, speaking of going off, let's – Let's move out west. Mm-hmm. We got the Broncos, the Chiefs, the Raiders, and those Bolts in L.A. So, you, you know what? This division out west is still about those Chiefs. Even if Travis Swift misses a game or two because of conflicting concert dates. You think the Chiefs are going to take over the division? No problem again? Absolutely. 
They didn't do anything but improve. The one handicap they had, <laughs> they got rid of. So, yeah. Who was that, Corderas Tony? <laughs> Absolute garbage. I'm glad they got rid of him. His hands are just terrible. He, he makes me so sick. But, I mean, hey, in Patty Mahomes, we trust, man. If anybody watches football knows that he's easily the best quarterback in the NFL and he yeah. just finds ways to win. Absolutely. Travis Kelsey's the best uh, tight end in the league. And they just got – what wide receiver did they just get? They just got another wide receiver, too. Um, a fast guy. Oh, Xavier Worthy. Over the top, baby. So, yeah. They've improved. They're definitely going to take it. I mean, the Raiders are garbage. Broncos, I don't even know who's on that team. Well, good segue. Why don't we start with my sleeper from way back in episode seven? And Bo Nix. Talk about <laughs> Bo Nix as the starting quarterback out there for those Broncos. And so I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Uh, you know, I, other than Cortland Sutton, I – Cortland Sutton and – I don't know who else he's going to throw the ball to, right? Definitely not. And when he was at Oregon, what did he do? Two, three, four, five-yard passes, let the guys work, let his athletes work. He sure. has no athletes out there in Denver. He's going to look terrible. Well, if he gets the ball to Javante Williams or uh, uh, Little McLaughlin, those guys can, you know, in space, they can do some damage. Uh, Linebackers are faster in the NFL, <laughs> so are cornerbacks, so are defensive ends, so are safeties. He's not just going to keep getting these little dump-off passes. Team watches, teams watch film. Sure. You think they're not watching his film from college? Absolutely. Yeah, no chance. There's a reason Bo Nix was in college for 32 <laughs> years, all right? He's not that guy. He's not a starter in the NFL. And, it, hey, if he does good, kudos. But I'm guaranteeing that he's not starting by week six. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, how about the Raiders? Garbage. Who's their starter? <laughs> Gardner Minshew. Minshew mania. And you think Gardner Minshew is a good quarterback? He's the starting quarterback. That's not what I asked. Do you think he's a good <laughs> starting quarterback no, in the NFL? No, isn't he on like his fourth team in three years? I, yes, I, bro. You know, no. Uh, but he he has moments, right? So maybe that's what they're looking for. But we got to get Devontae Adams on the field. Otherwise, it's not going to be a good look. Devontae Adams, I mean, uh, top tier wide receiver in the NFL. But if he doesn't have anybody to throw him the football, it's a mute point. Right. So, would you draft him on your fantasy team? I did. <laughs> He's still Devontae. Let's not get crazy. Um, and so, let's go right over to uh, L.A. So, speaking of L.A., in the bolts, those chargers – uh, led by Harbaugh, since he can no longer go back to Michigan. Um, you know, they let some guys go. They let some receivers go. So, will Justin Herbert, uh, will he be able to settle down his feet to find somebody to throw the ball to? No, Justin Herbert is not that guy. People swore by him because he had a great rookie season. That's the reason why people expect rookies to come in and start. He had a phenomenal rookie season. What has he done since then? Thank you. Yee. <laughs> AFC North, man. I mean, bro, because I just hate the way people talk about him like he's God. He's a regular quarterback. He had one good season. What has he done since then? They're scratching to make playoffs to even try to get there, and what have they done? Nothing. And, he, and they're paying these guys. It's ridiculous. He's just got a good arm, and he had a, one good season, but then people watch film because it's the NFL. That's what and they now, do. look, yeah. he's a – what? He's a top 30 quarterback in the NFL. <laughs> Stop it. AFC North, man, over there with my boy. Lamar Jackson, you know, LJ8, probably about to win another MVP. They all, they've been beating up on the Bengals. Joe Burrow's out there. The Browns, boo. And we got the Steelers, <laughs> who the, the picket Pickens connection, obviously, well-tested with no results. Man, yep. Just moving them on, moving them on. In fact, Pickett's no longer there. Let's see if Pickens can connect with uh, Russell Wilson and, and – See what that – what kind of magic might lie there. I, you know, Justin Fields standing on the sideline watching. I, I just think Russ is old for this particular situation. We'll see how it goes. He could have been rejuvenated. Definitely not. Um, my reports that I'm getting from NFL insiders is that it was an actual quarterback competition, and it still is. And so, you're Russell Wilson, MVP of the league, won a Super Bowl, this and that. Big-time contract, once the highest-paid guy in the league. And you're having a quarterback competition with a guy who got kicked off his team after he was the number one pick. And What are we talking about? 
He's been bad. He hasn't done anything since he had um, Marshawn Lynch and the Legion of Boom over there in Seattle. I don't believe in him one bit. Okay. All right. So, okay. And you already said boo to the Browns, but, you know, Deshaun Watson should come back with a whole healthy season this year. So I'm looking forward to seeing him on the field. Now, what did concern me, Nick Chubb is still hurt, of course. But then they also let some running backs get away. Jerome Ford is still there. Now, if Deshaun Watson can stay on the field, stay out of the courthouse, deliver the football to Amari Cooper and newly signed uh, Jerry Judy, man, you, you kind of got to like the Browns. They have a defense that's good enough to keep them in the game. Has that man been good since he left Houston? No. He is not that guy. Let it go. Maybe I'm just negative Nancy, but people are putting these guys on pedestals. He was in Houston, phenomenal quarterback. Then he got in all that legal trouble because he was doing what he wasn't supposed to be doing, which was crazy. And then he spent two years out of the league. And then he came back, and people think that he was going to be the same guy that he was in Houston. He's not that guy. We saw it last year before he got hurt. Yeah. He was an average quarterback. He's going to be an average quarterback again this year. Joe Flacco looked better than him last year. And so, he was on the couch with his kids. Stop it. So I, I think there's enough there uh, with Cincinnati talking about being hurt. Um, but I think there's enough in Cincinnati um, to see how that's going to go. Uh, as they also do their kind of Tony Pollard experiment with Zach Moss now moving in as they let Joe Mixon walk. So if Joe Burrow can stay healthy, if Zach Moss can stay effective, you know, uh, get the ball to Jamar Chase and T. Higgins, and they got a they got a potential for a good offense. Mm -hmm. Don't know about the defense right now. Yeah, so defense is definitely a question mark, but I mean Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase. That's all you got to say. If sure. Joe Burrow stays healthy, we already seen he took his team to to a Super Bowl already, and he started as a rookie. So that kind of thing. Yeah. I think if he stays healthy, you know he's got that thumb injury. He said he's got to throw the ball a different way now. If that doesn't affect him, I feel like they got another great chance of winning the division this year. Okay. All right. So, uh, but then even as you say that. The Ravens are sitting there. LJA, and you know. they just got Derrick Henry. Who's what has right. he done in the league? Ooh. King Henry, he's hey, he scores touchdowns. He produces. That's all he does every year. They stack the box. They put 12 guys inside of that box, and he jukes out two of them and runs over six of them. And then he, outrun, he outruns the other yeah. four, like I, or other three. Like, that's what he does. And to think that he's going to do anything different sure. with Lamar Jackson is crazy. I think they're definitely going to be a tough one on offense. They already got a great defense. Uh, Joe Burrow, he's got to do a lot. He's got to be Superman if he's going to beat the Ravens this year for the division. So, leading right into that then, in this particular division in the AFC North, it sounds like you, uh, you kind of like uh, Baltimore. So yes. what about – let's move down to the AFC South. Mm -hmm. All right, what do, you, what, do you, what do you see down there? Uh, I mean, you got the Texans, Colts, Jags, and Titans. I mean, this, this is easy. Let's go ahead and just start with the Colts, right? <laughs> okay. Anthony Richardson comes in year one as a rookie. Yeah. Highlight ESPN top ten plays. But what do guys do in the NFL? <laughs> they hit. <laughs> These running quarterbacks, they get crunched on. Sure. And we saw it. He missed the whole season because yeah. his, his shoulder got hurt. Yeah. Right? And so that's what kind of player is. I don't think he should change because that's why he got drafted that high. But I don't see longevity with him. Um, Michael Pittman, great wide receiver. Right. Jonathan Taylor, injury right. bug. If Jonathan Taylor stays healthy this whole season, they have a real chance. But will he stay healthy? Will Anthony Richardson? Right. And so that's what we'll see. But speaking of sin, how about the Jags? Will we see Trevor Lawrence actually hold on to the ball? Will we see the Jaguars be able to close out the season <laughs> instead of just falling apart down the stretch? Nope. Trevor Lawrence was a great quarterback <laughs> at Clemson. Um, but, again, he's just another guy. He got picked high. He wants all this money. He cannot hold on to the football. Led the league in fumbles last year. Probably going to do the same. We saw the video. Uh an OTAs, a fumbling drill, and he can't even hold on to the football. In a drill, so what do you think is going to happen when there's 11 dudes on the other side trying to punch it out because they know he fumbles the ball? Yeah, he's going to have another season just like the ones prior. Um, 
Sorry, Jags. <laughs> okay. So, uh, down in Houston, though, C.J. Stroud, uh, he, you know, he's got some weapons, some weapons, and then they got more weapons. So, you think he's going to repeat what he did last year? Yes. He has more weapons. They also uh, added a couple offensive linemen. So, woohoo! And they've added uh, – who did they add in the backfield? So, they've added another running back. Uh, I Just weapons on top of weapons on top of weapons. So, I'm going to look at the, bad, the, the pessimistic side of things. Glass half empty kind of guy. Um, you ever heard of a sophomore slump? Absolutely. Seen it? Absolutely. And I think there is a chance that we're going to see it again this year with the Texans. But I do like them if uh, if C.J. Shroud is three quarters of what he was last year. I think they're going to take the division. Well, I think uh, speaking of sophomore slumps, I think Will Levis will have something to say about that over in Tennessee uh, with the Titans and Tony Pollard. Right. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have to have some company to assist him if he's, you know, Will Levis has continued to mature. So. I kind of think that's going to keep going forward. So. I do like Will Levis. I think he's a good, decent quarterback. Um, and they got uh, DeAndre Hopkins out there. Correct. So, Correct. he comes back healthy. I mean, he's definitely going to be a threat. At one point, he was the best wide receiver in the sure. league, yep. without question. Um, so, if he gets DeAndre Hopkins back healthy, yes, I think they'll have an okay offense. But Tony Pollard is not an every down back. He cannot run inside of the tackles. We saw that when he was on Dallas, when they let Zeke go for a year, and they just continually tried to run him through in between the tackles with 300, 400-pound linemen <laughs> who yeah. ate burritos bigger than Tony Pollard. Right. He's so. not an every down back. So I, I don't see their run game being a real threat, especially without Derrick Henry, who was their driving force on offense. Right, right. I don't know. Well, Shaky. You know, and but then on the other side, they can also – throw the ball out there to Calvin Ridley, mm -hmm. uh, you know, between him and Hopkins running routes. Mm -hmm. you know, I think I'd put my money on some fireworks this year. Hey, I like how you said that because Calvin Ridley, we know what you did <laughs> betting on games, you sly dog. So now he's definitely got a burner account. He's still making bets. He's betting on himself. So, hey, boy's going to play hard. <laughs> hey, boy's going to play hard. All right, so let's do some predictions. Mm -hmm. uh, since we're talking about the AFC South, what do you yep. like? Uh, Texans. Yeah, By got, gotta be, yep. gotta be, gotta be. Um, AFC North. You, earlier, you were all over the Ravens. Who do you think? Yeah, Ravens. Yeah, Ravens. Not close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Sorry. Let me just say this one more time. <laughs> Because a lot of people, you know, oh, he's dating Sierra. He's a good guy. He's not a cornball. He's the kind of guy you want to date. Bro, Russell Wilson is not a good quarterback in the NFL anymore. <laughs> Let Russ cook. Stop it. You ever seen Gordon Ramsay? It's raw! <laughs> so, I did hear uh, a little snippet or something the other day on, on Instagram or, or X or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so they were talking uh, down at the Mercedes Benz uh, dome here in Atlanta. They were talking about what song they need to play well, when you know <laughs> when Pittsburgh so comes to play. And Russ steps out on the field. So future. <laughs> in, in which song? It's a Gucci flip flop. Hey, <laughs> hey, yeah. No <laughs> chance. He's cooked. <laughs> Ravens by a million. Uh, AFC West. Who you got? Uh, it belongs to the Chiefs. Easy. That's an easy winner. And then in the AFC East, I mean, yes. I I gotta like the Jets. I I I kind of I I their defense. I you know I, I'm not discounting Miami at all, but I like the Jets defense. I got to go with Hawk Tua, Tonga Valoa, Tyree Kill, <laughs> Jalen Waddle, Gabe Davis, DJ Chain, Raheem Mostert. I mean, what are we talking about? Right. The offense is loaded. Yes, and, it is. And uh, what's his name? Daniels, the coach? Yeah. Yeah, genius. Yeah, I'm taking Dolphins by, not by a million, <laughs> but I, I got the Dolphins. Okay. Huh? Yeah, all right. okay. Hey, y'all stay tuned. So we got the NFC coming up with the dogs. You already see the shirts, man. We got the NFC, and that's the one we really know about. So we'll, hey, stay tuned.
I don't understand why people in America are having a hard time swallowing the fact that she wasn't good enough to make the team. Why is Caitlin Clark not wearing a USA jersey right now? Part of the selection committee, we know what we have with these. We know what we're going to do. We know what we have done. Let's go with what we know. And when has doing what we know ever pushed anything in America? As soon as she gets drafted, these girls are shipping champagne, taking private flights. Jersey sales are up 400%. All these games are getting sold out. If she's not one of the best players in the WNBA and I'm on the selection committee, I don't want her on the team either. I don't care about her selling anything. I'm trying to win a gold ring. I don't understand why people in America are having a hard time swallowing the fact that she wasn't good enough to make the team. That's why her ass is in Indiana and not in Paris. <laughs> you see the uniforms. You know what's in our hearts. My blood is blue on the inside. When air touches it, it's still blue, huh? All day long. Okay, NFC East, Cowboys, Eagles, Giants, and uh, they have a team in Washington? <laughs> yeah. The commas. I mean, bro, come on now. Every team in the NFC is starting 2-0 and that's not named Commanders. That's just how it goes. They're the worst team in, in, the, in, in the division. Um, I hate that they changed their name. Since they changed their name, they've just been downhill. So we don't even need to talk about them. See, that's interesting because I kind of felt that way about the Giants, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, when I was you know, earlier today looking around at things and I got to the New York Giants and I realized they're in the NFC East. <laughs> hey, that boy, uh, Danny Dimes, huh? they gave him $45 million. $45 million a year. Let go of Saquon Barkley, the only decent yep. player on the team. They did get Malik Neighbors, but I think Danny Dimes has no idea how to be a quarterback in the NFL. Um, they might win four games this year. <laughs> and, okay, we do need to talk about the commanders. They are in the division. They did draft a quarterback very they high. They did. Out of, uh, where was he at? LSU? LSU. Jaden Daniels. Daniels. Jaden Daniels. What do you think he's going to do this year? Well, the, the preseason in this case was such a small sample size. Mm -hmm. I, I still have questions like we would have with any rookie quarterback that's mm -hmm. making the start. But the fact that he's making the start with a new head coach, you know, Dan Quinn back over. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking they're going to have a defense that's going to try to get after it. But as far as the offense, I, I think there's still a lot. There are more questions than there are answers. And is Scary Terry a wide receiver one? Nope. Boom. <laughs> More interesting. You know we hate him as Cowboys fans. We hate him, we hate him, we hate him. I was in a charity little golf event the other week, and one of my deacons was there, and he had an Eagles bag, <laughs> golf bag. And I almost lost it on him, but I, hey, I remembered who I was, where I was, and who he was, said a little prayer, and we moved on. But we hate Philly. Jalen Hurts is not who everyone thinks he is. He's an average quarterback. Now that they uh, – the tush push, yeah, that's, it, that's all he was. A good tush push guy. He's not a good quarterback. Okay? Like, stop it. He's, hey, he's not that good. They did add Saquon Barkley. Is he going to make a difference? No. <clears throat> he's just going to be in there, you know, sticking hurts from behind. Hey, yo. Like they have done <laughs> hey, previous hey. seasons. Pause. But it's Whoa, that sounded crazy. Whoa. He's doing what? Whoa. Whoa. Hey, yo, whoa, that was crazy. Um, no, no, no. I mean, you said it now. It, 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 hey, we're just going to move on from that. They also got A.J. Brown, who is a contested catch maker, and they got uh, Smith, too, Devontae, Devontae Smith, Smith, who is a, a decent wideout out there, I think. Um, I think they'll have a de very good team. I, I, they can't finish either. So, without the tush push, and I think that's what they're going to continue to do. Mm -hmm. So, I can see Saquon just coming in there, helping with the tush there push. You there so, you, go. <laughs> you know, I thought they had the guys already. They could have taken a lineman to do, and just stuck him back there and play fullback to do that same thing. But, yeah, there we go. So, But they probably won't be the best team in the NFC East. Oh, they absolutely will not be. That will be the Dallas Cowboys who just signed C.D. Lamb. 
to a very big contract. He was the best wide receiver in the league last year, so we got paid. Jerry Jones couldn't deny the man the money, which we love, right? That's and right. then they got Zeke back. He's going to be a leader on the team. He knows Dallas was there for a long time. Right. He's going to be that, that first and second down back, putting his head down, munching, goal line kind of running back. He's probably going to have about 12 to 15 tutties this year. Absolutely. And then, of course, you got Dak Prescott, right? And you might be thinking, oh, Dak Prescott, he stinks. Go ahead and put the numbers up between Dak Prescott and Patty Mahomes. Yep. You, you see the numbers, right? What are we looking at? Identical to Patrick Mahomes, who is definitely the best quarterback in the NFL. Hey, he's hungry. He wants to get paid. He's going to be out on a mission, and he's going to throw for 40 touchdowns this year and lead the league again in passing touchdowns. So you didn't say it, but I'll say it because uh, we know that last but not least, the beast of the East – the star of the division without hesitation. With Dak on a mission to wreak havoc and destruction, I give you the Dallas Cowboys. With a newly signed CD, helping out Brandon Cooks and Jake Ferguson. Zeke is back. We said that. And so, you know, let's go. Let's rock. Hey. The and then, whoa, before, before we move on to the West, Micah Parsons is still a monster. Well, yeah, show it to him. Let him see it. Show it to him. Let him see it. He is still a beast. And he's hungry. He wants to get paid, too. He's got to pay the bills for his podcast, huh? <laughs> he's got to keep the lights on for the pod. That's right. Dallas by a 1,000. All right, yes. let's move on to the NFC West. Who's out there, man? We've got the Rams, the 49ers, the Seahawks, and those Cardinals in Arizona. You know, let's start off with the 49ers. Can Brock Purdy prove – it wasn't beginner's luck. 100%. I mean, who is he throwing to? They just signed Ayuk back. They okay. got CMC. Okay. They got uh, Debo, Debo. And they got George Kittle. Yep. Yep. So, sounds like it ought to be a recipe And they for got uh, the the uh, the lineman. He's holding out right now. Trent Williams? Trent Williams. <sighs> yeah. yeah. They're probably going back to the Super Bowl. Oh, wait. They're going to have to go through Dallas. <laughs> but they'll win their division probably. I mean, who, who's better, the Seahawks? Well, Geno Smith. Who's he throwing to? <laughs> so, but you know, last year Geno proved that he is an NFL quarterback, right? And so I look for him to be even more comfortable throwing it to Tyler Lockett, who won't go away, and DK DK Metcalf. Uh, the fastest tight end in the NFL. I'm about to say, the, the biggest drama queen I've ever seen in my life. I mean, he's 6'8", 250 with an eight-pack, and he only eats Skittles. It, it is absolutely ridiculous. He's like a young Julio without the hands, I'm telling you. The kid is the kid. He's a good player now. He is. He's a good player, but uh, I don't think he's a game changer for the Seattle Seahawks, unfortunately. Not like I think Marvin Harrison Jr., is going to change the game for the Arizona Cardinals. Can Kyler Murray stay on the field? Uh, what about James Conner? Already, they're one-dimensional. Marvin Harrison is going to be relegated, relegated to not, uh, not a backup at all, not a number two. He's going to be a blocker for whoever they can find to run the football. Uh, who's their backup quarterback out there? No idea. Hey, where's – okay. <laughs> if Kyler Murray stays healthy, though. If he stays healthy, if James Conner can stay on the field, uh, who's the number two? Is Marvin Harrison the number two? So, then I look forward to him. I, I think they can do some things, but they just have to stay on the field. And history says they don't do that. Very true. You know who stays on the field no matter what, even with a popped-out shoulder? <laughs> yeah. The Rams quarterback, man. Matthew Stafford. Mm -hmm. He's out there with Puka Nakua, who had an incredible rookie season. Now he's back on the map as potentially a number one wide receiver. But then we can't forget about Cooper Cup. Absolutely. But they did lose Aaron Donald. They they did. They, they did. And so I think they're willing to score points. And the way I think they're willing to help their defense, Kyron Williams. Look for him in the end zone 12, 18 times. Eight, 18 times? Eight, 18 times. Look for him in the end zone. He proved last year that he could take a knee, uh, he could take a knee injury, miss a couple games, come right back out there and not miss a step. 
I like the Rams. I like the Rams, too. Let's get over to NFC North, man. Bears, Lions, Packers, Vikings. Let's go ahead and start right there with the division winners of last year, the Detroit Lions, who looked very poised and very ready to repeat again. I mean, they got Amon Ross St. Brown. Uh, Golf is looking very decent and comfortable in the pocket. Um, and then in the backfield, they had, what, Montgomery and Gibbs? Mm-hmm. Uh, Jameer Gibbs? I mean, bruh, what are we talking about? Absolutely elusive power guy and he's making people miss i think he's gonna have another big season and we cannot forget they got hutchins aiden hutchinson i think that's his name that's his on name. the defensive side right out of michigan right he's gonna yep. be a dog yep they got a good team i'm looking for him to repeat this year right but but be forewarned the pack is back jordan love and company if 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 you know you talked about this earlier about a sophomore jinx so if he can fight that off, you got to look for him. And they got some help in the backfield and Josh Jacobs. Uh, and and Jaden Reed is going to command double coverage this year. So I can't sleep on the pat. I'm going to. I'm still salty. I'm still salty what they did to my boys in the playoffs last year. And then Michael Parsons is going to have Jordan Love on his podcast the next day. That I'm still infuriated by that. I hope that he has a sophomore slump. <laughs> Sorry, I just hope he does. They did get Josh Jacobs, who was a very good running back out yeah. there in Oakland, but yeah. or where they no Las Vegas. My fault. Right? Same thing. Yep. He's a good running back. We'll see what he does this year. But uh I hate uh I hate Jordan Love. <laughs> yep. Okay. Pretty boy. All right. Sorry. Uh, the Bears the Bears gonna live up to the hype with their one one with Caleb Williams, right? So uh I think that hype should be tempered a little bit. Why? To at best seven or eight wins. Why? The because it's still the Bears. Right, but I think that he can have a CJ Stroud kind of season where he comes in and just change it, turns the whole um, dynamic of the franchise around. He's got Roma Dunzier outside, um, and it's he's one one for a reason. I think he's really going to be a guy coming there and uh, lead him to ten wins this season. Is that crazy? I I think it is way out there. And uh, why you're not trying to, you know, pack his bags for Pittsburgh, I don't understand it. Why can't I, I have high hopes for the 1-1? It's, it's okay. It's all right. Let's live up to that hype. And uh, speaking of hype, <laughs> JJ. Oh, wait. Ah, those Vikings, they did sign that guaranteed contract, 100% guarantee, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, my. Mm. for him to be a film warrior this year. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous that mm. they did that. We talked about it on this show. We said mm. it. We said it. Don't give these guys fully guaranteed contracts because it's what? <sighs> Football. Oh, you did say it was that too. I can't. <laughs> You did say it was that, too, but it's football. Full contact sport with grown men who are trying to feed their families. People are going to get hurt. They are yep. throwing their bodies around, as they yep. should, recklessly. And he got hurt in practice. What do we think is going to happen in the game? I hate that for the Vikings. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Justin Jefferson, though, he just got paid. We'll see what he does this year, but I don't got the Vikings anywhere near the top I mean, of the division. Who, who, who's going to be throwing in the football? Did they sign uh, Josh Dobbs back? <laughs> uh, is that uh, Darnold? Sam Darnold? Yeah, he is the starter. And we've seen what he's done in the NFL. Wow. And who's the third string? Is Zach Wilson? Zach Wilson. And we've seen what he's done in the NFL. Mm. Talk about it. He looks like a scared infant on the football (laughs) field. Right? Going from starter to third string is insane. (laughs) After you were the second pick, second, fourth pick in the draft. Right, right. Yeah. No, he's got two more years in the league. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. Oh, maybe he's headed to Pittsburgh. Uh, facts. <laughs> you can start out there. <laughs> oh, down in the south. Yeah, let's get to it. <clears throat> Where you got the Falcons, uh, the Buccaneers, the mm-hmm. Saints, and mm-hmm. the Carolina Panthers. You got the Aints. Um, mm-hmm. Who's their quarterback, Derek Carr? Yeah. Yikes, yeah. buddy. Mm-hmm. I, I think he lasts maybe four or five games before we see Spencer Rattler out there. Leading the Saints down the field. They should have never got rid of uh, 
Uh, who the Jameis. thirty thirty? Yep, Jameis Winston. They should have <laughs> never got rid of him. He was an absolute dog That's right. of a football player. Um, but the Aints, they just don't have it this year. Chris Olave is a good receiver, but I don't think he's going to help enough to make Derek Carr look like a suitable starting quarterback in the NFL. And it, maybe it's just me. It looks like Alvin Kamara may have lost a step. That too. I mean, he's been a workhorse for him yeah. because they didn't have anybody else. Hey, and he's been getting what? Banged on Bang. because it's the NFL and dudes are hungry. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, the Buccaneers, I feel like, are likely to repeat. Uh, with Baker Mayfield, you know, he, he helped get Mike Evans back. You know, he was talking about retirement. Mm -hmm. So, Mike Evans coming back and Baker Mayfield, that connection works. Uh, who else they got? Chris Godwin? Is he still over there? Mm -hmm. So he stays hurt though. And, and Rashid, uh, no, Rashad White as the running back. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know, Tampa Bay didn't necessarily improve, but they're in the South, so they didn't have to. Okay. Yeah, and um, what's his what's his name? He is, he's on all the the State Farm commercials. Baker, sorry, forgot he was a one one. Let's not forget that he was a one one. He just signed a contract though. That's why he played so well oh, last yeah. year. He was trying to get paid, to, and okay. now he's got the bread in his pocket. Okay. So now he's filming more commercials, <laughs> not doing what needs to be done on the football field in the study room. Mike Evans, he's still going to have 1,000 yards because that's what he does, but I don't see them winning the division. Okay. Those dirty birds are looking to rise up. Mm -hmm. They got Kirk. You like that, Cousins? Kirko. <laughs> Fresh off the Achilles injury, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, Drake London. Michael Pitts you know, and B. John Robinson. B. John Robinson. Yep. They got a good. They got. They have the guys for the team. They got a. De they have a, honestly a decent defense. So they have the pieces. Who's going to put the puzzle together? Kirko Bangs is only going to last. He is. He's got a brittle body. He's going to last through week six. Then we're going to get Michael Penix era started gonna... down there in Atlanta, man. And that's really when they're going to blossom. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Right. So let's go ahead. Let's give our uh let's give our division winners. Okay. NFC South, who Let you me, want? Oh, I for, they're so bad I forgot. <laughs> they're, they're so bad. Listen, they're so let, bad. Let, let's let's just the, the, Car <laughs> the Carolina Panthers has nowhere to go but up. <laughs> well, um, except oh, not this year. I forgot they were in the league. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, hey! I feel bad for my boy Bryce Young, but hey, so it had to happen to somebody. Sorry, it's so, buddy. It's so um, how it is. Yeah, I don't even know who's on your team. They got rid of Cam Newton, and they've been buns yeah. ever since. So, so they got um, it. Adam Thielen. The problem yeah. is that the running back is Chuba uh, Chuba Herbert, Herbert, Chuba Herbert, Chuba Herbert. Yeah, who's that? <laughs> like, bro, what are we talking about? I couldn't name you three players on their team. That was it. Those were the three. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know what? No, no, no. Okay, well, well, let's relax. Let's relax. <laughs> they did get, uh, what's his name? From Ole Miss. Good wide receiver. And he's got a country accent. Maybe a South Carolina. He got a country accent. Hmm. Anyway, okay. yeah, they might win three games. Okay. Um, so now, now that we remember that they're in the league. <laughs> NFC South, who you yeah, got taking the Tampa, division? Tampa Bay. Okay. Gotta I'm, be. I'm going to do something that is insane. Huh? Because I live here. I live in Atlanta. I know Atlanta sports. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. Atlanta Falcons, Dirty Birds are taking the NFC South this year. Wow. Yeah, that almost hurt coming. I almost wow. threw up. <laughs> you know, if y'all want to back him up on that, we'll be at the Dome on November 3rd. We will. You'll, you'll be able to find us. We'll we be wearing the star. Getting screamed at, but we wouldn't want it any other way. Atlanta other Falcons way. taking the <laughs> NFC South. <laughs> NFC North, who you got? Well, I, I think the Lions can repeat. I think they're just strong enough to keep a, a game or two ahead of the Packers, but the Packers are definitely back. The Lions are going to win 13 games this year, okay. take the division. Uh, the Bears are going to win. Let me, let me push my Bears down to nine. <laughs> right, right in between eight and ten. I'm pushing it at nine, right? Okay. Um, hold on, yeah. sorry. I, I got a fantasy draft, <laughs> and I'm running out of time. Uh oh. Ah, auto picked. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, 
Good things happen to good people, baby. <laughs> NFC West, who we got? I yeah 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 yeah. Well, I still I still think the 49ers are potent on offense. As much as I like the Rams in this situation, I'm going to have the 49ers just ahead of the Rams. They've been good for the past four seasons. I mean, I don't think you can pick anyone else besides the 49ers. They're taking the NFC West. Not a question in my mind. Right. And uh, I think that's a wrap. What about the NFC East? I thought we made it clear. We made it very clear who's taking it. Jerry Jones and them boys, baby. They're going to go get one. They're going to get another one. Who's going to stop them? It's definitely not the Daniel Dimes Giants with no Saquon Barkley. I don't know who's on that team, but they're all bad. The Washington Commanders, they might be worse than the Panthers, right? And I didn't even know they were in the league. Jaden Daniels is going to have a Bryce Young-type rookie season. I feel bad for him, but he will endure. He's a millionaire now. Good for him. The Eagles, I don't believe in Jalen Hurts. He's not that guy. Saquon Barkley's not going to make a difference. They had DeAndre Swift. He was already a great running back. Yeah. It's going to be the same old Eagles. They hate their yeah. coach. They're yeah. not going to to do what they need to do yeah. they can't finish in the long run yeah. Dallas Cowboys buy a million we'll yeah. see in the playoffs I think the Eagles and the rest of Philadelphia has put all their money put all their emotion put all their energy into the Phillies they're done cooked it's see all, ya it's all about the star yes sir and you already know baby when we come back for break one in the chamber, in the chamber. stay tuned LeBron James is still the best player in the NBA at age 40. Let's USA go. basketball, the best team in the world. Struggling against South Sudan, but they had a savior. Who was it? They struggled against Germany, but they had a savior. Who was it? Lego. I mean, the man is 40 years old, and he's by far the best player on the best team in the world right now. They asked the players, who do you think is the best player on the team? And five players out of the 15 players on the team said that LeBron is the best player on our team. The king. But it's showing me something I didn't know, and I honestly, I was maybe too blind to see. LeBron James is still the best player in the NBA at age. 40. He's not even the best player in California. And let's just be clear, they haven't even played one Olympic game yet. They played those little exhibition games against the little secondhand private Catholic schools with words written across their chest. Not only does so, the team think he's the best player, all of America does. They, not all of America. They, yep, I guess you do live here. Everyone else <laughs> besides you. Huh? One in the chamber. Huh? Let's get right into it. You ready? Yes. All right. You know, this is football season has started. It's big in college. We'll talk about that. It's big in the NFL. We talked about that. It is football season. Yes. There was a few other sports things happening over the weekend. Talk to me. It's the U.S. Open happened. Mm -hmm. Is happening. Is Coco Golf good or is she just one and done? Ah, I don't want to be negative Nancy now. I don't want to be that guy, you know. But it's one of those things in sports where if you come out hot, people take notice. They start watching film. They peep your weaknesses. And once you show them, these professional athletes are going to keep hitting those weaknesses. I hate to see it happen to a sister like Coco Golf, but hey, she was a young phenomenon and now... She's just the average player. One and done. It's showing in the U.S. Open. We saw it in the Olympics. How many chances can we give to these people? You know what I'm saying? You were on the top of the world as a young gunner, and now you're just a civilian with a tennis racket. I don't have much to say. I mean, I wish things were different. You know, I wish, I wish, <laughs> I wish gas was free. I wish we didn't have to pay taxes. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, and I have to be the guy to say it. Coco Golf, hey, enjoy it while it lasted, man, because we will not see you at the top again unless you make some major adjustments. You know what you need to do? Go take a summer, a little off season. Go live with Serena Williams. She what she does, huh? Go under the, the Williams training method because whatever they did works. So when you get there, you know what's gonna happen? You're probably going to gain about 45 to 50 pounds of pure muscles only in your legs. You're going to grow three inches 
and you're gonna start hitting the ball 127 miles an hour. That's the only way you'll ever get back to what you were as a young gunner. You're still young, you still have time, but the only way you're doing that is if you go link up with Serena Williams. And you might be thinking, well, that should be easy. Serena Williams married a billionaire. She's on a yacht in Portugal right now. So good luck getting tennis lessons on the water. Coco Golf, sorry to see it. Well, I hated to see it as well. <laughs> there, there it is, Coco. I don't know. You know, I maybe Coco Krispies are better. I don't know. <laughs> but there we have it, you know. And now we are done. I am Big Daddy, and he's son of a gun. Watching that tennis match is, well, it's all doom and gloom. But like the football season kicking off, we're about to bring the boom. Yeah, she raised the gun. Uh, uh, yeah, and shout out to my mom, I'm a son of a gun. So.